Meghan Markle here. Today is December 22nd, 2023. It is 5.31 a.m. I just finished edit the video that I recorded yesterday. I believe it was two hours worth. I, I decided to cut it into two. The first part, I finished it really quickly. But yesterday, the second part, in the middle of it, something happened to our electricity. Not just my apartment, the entire building. And thank God, they, uh, I don't know, something went off and uh, they turned it back on an hour later. I lost, I believe, about uh, 30 minutes worth of editing. So I had to redo them. But anywho, so this is my back end. 3,652 subscribers, new subscribers, welcome. And I see some people are uh, giving me, uh, uh, what is it, supers or something like that. I do not know how the supers work, but the numbers do not reflect on my revenue. This is why I prefer PayPal and uh, Cash App. And I don't want to sound too unappreciative, but if I'm not seeing any change here, I don't know if the money you're donating to me through YouTube is actually reflected here. I do not know because throughout the month, I've been stuck on 200. And today or yesterday, I believe, is the last or was the last day uh, for the marking period kind of thing. They have a term for it, but I can't think of it. Okay, so now they should start all over again. And the number stuck here. So as much I appreciate the donation, but these numbers here do not reflect anything. I don't know what's going on with these numbers. Okay, so yeah, $262.98, my analytic. There is it to 54.98 and the last 48 hours I had 4,450 views and there's the numbers here. My subscription is going high, but it's I'm, I don't even think these numbers actually reflect my channel. I feel like there's, it's being done manually. They decided to put whatever. All right, so I have about 20 tweets to share with you. All right, so there they are here. Let's get started. Um, oh, I don't have to wake up my kids, so there's no school. They're done for the um, holiday. So they're on vacation for the holiday, so I don't have to wake them up. So I'll record as much as I can. So let's do this. Um, let's see how quick I could do that. Okay, so there's that here. So let, I'm going to get rid of some other things fast before I get to the vacation tweets and then some laughter things. Hopefully I do it within an hour. Okay, other than Prince Harry's romantic reaction to his wife, Frederick is the only other prince I see openly and happily loved up on his wife. I guess this person doesn't know. All uh, right, so she put a video of, uh, of him. This is the space my heart wants to be, Crown Princess Marie to Frederick. Uh, it's 46 seconds. There will be screenshots in between. When I look into your eyes, So there's a music, so I might have to mute it. And I think there is a, okay. Oh, it's sort of, you won't be able to see it completely. 
but I'll show you whatever I can and I'll try to overwrite the music. I can't really remove remove the music completely. So there's me here responding to this. Okay, I don't follow these royals much, but each time I take a peek on them, I find some BS about them. Not too long ago, I heard allegedly a side piece. All right, so there's one like and one comment. Yes, Frederick. Uh, yes, Frederick is the is it Mexican socialite Casanova? Okay, Frederick is apparently a cheater. Mary is in Australia with her two youngest kids. Oh, I don't even know. Okay, given the misinformation about Harry and Meghan, I take all others with a grain of salt. However, since infidelity is common, I pray they find their way back to each other. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Girl, wake up. <laughs> Where you been? Oh, Lord. I don't want to go too much into that, but... I mean, the other thing as well, those other women, they're allowing these guys to continue this kind of behavior too. It takes two. And I really feel bad for the wife. Ah, oh, my God. And there's some stuff about the son. This is why I said each time I take a peek in, I'm hearing some BS. There's some stuff that was said about the, the oldest, the heir. Okay, and school. Let me leave this BS alone. I don't want to get, I have enough with Harry and Meghan. I'd rather focus on Harry and Meghan. All right, so next week, there's this one that I saw. I don't know how recent this is. I don't know if it's old or like they posted yesterday. I think this is the guy who threw the egg at Charles. This is what I believe because he looks like him after he cut his hair. Okay, the royal family have no shame. They'll take the British taxpayers' money, dead or alive, but showing us respect, not even a little. Okay, the royal family protecting their vile ways. All right. <laughs> So 29 seconds. I think there was a protest, not my king kind of thing. So, that's my comment here. I don't want to go too far into this. Oh, get the people angry? <laughs> Stirring the pot. That's it with this tweet. All right, let's go to the next one. If Twitter is still talking about it, I'll bring it back again. But for now, come on, come on, pause. It's always hard to find this button over here. Next tweet. Uh, like I was saying, if Twitter is still talking about it and there's new information that come out of it. Maybe I'll bring it back on another video, but for now, that's it. <clears throat> it's been 26 years and people still see Princess Diana as Queen, Queen of Hearts. All right, a minute and 45 seconds, there will be screenshots. Do you think you will ever be Queen? <sighs> no, I don't. No. Why do you think that? I'd like to be a Queen of people's hearts in people's hearts. But I don't see myself being queen of this country. I don't think many people would want me to be queen. Actually, when I say many people, I mean the establishment that I'm married into. Because they've decided that I'm a non-starter. Because her moral was too good for the institution. They wanted a corrupt one, but she's not corrupt. That's the thing here. Why do you think they've decided that? Because I do things differently, mm -hmm. because I don't go by a rule book, because I lead from the heart, not the head. And albeit that's got me into trouble in my work, I understand that. But someone's got to go out there and love people and show it. <laughs> and do you think that because of the way you behave, that's precluded you effectively from becoming queen? Yes, I, well not precluded me, I wouldn't say that. Um, I just don't think I have as many supporters in that environment than I did. She was 1000% correct and it's still playing out right now. In the royal household. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They see me as a 
a threat of some kind. And I'm here to do good. I'm not, a dis I'm not a destructive person. Why do they see you as a threat? I think every strong woman in history has had to walk down a similar path. And I think it's the strength that causes the confusion and the fear. Why is she strong? Where does she get it from? Where is she taking it? Where is she going to use it? Why do the public still support her? When I say public, you go and do an engagement and there's a great many people there. I mean, at that time, back and when they did this interview, if I were to listen to it, I don't know. It's recently, as I started uh, following Harry and Meghan, I come across a lot of other videos and stuff like that. But if back then, when this was done, I don't remember if I saw it. I don't think so. I would have remembered something. But if back then, when this interview was done, when she's saying about people going to engagement, there's a lot of people, we will think, ah, it's childish, which is childish. Oh, it's not true or whatever. But I can believe it. It is. These people are freaking ridiculous. My goodness. She was telling the truth 1,000%. Okay, then, right? The one and only princess of Wales, they should have retired the title when she died. Kate is a very poor substitute. One of the things Camilla got right. <laughs> okay, who has all the full Diana interview on VHS tape and cardboard box and the attic. Maybe upload to YouTube if you do. Bet a few folks will we watch. Um, which one do I have? I have the one. Oh, no, it's not that one. I have the one with uh, the voice coach. Okay, never more since seeing that woman there. There's the cry. History repeats itself. Not really. So we will make sure it doesn't repeat. All right, they are trying our prayers. Back then, it was only Diana. She was by herself. Okay, they even made her, one of her sons to discredit her. That BBC employees lied and used fake documents to obtain the interview with my mother, made lurid and false claims about the royal family which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. The most damaging charge that is made in relation to your marriage is that you were, because of your relationship with Camilla Parker Bowles, from the beginning, persistently unfaithful to your wife and thus caused the breakdown. What is your, your response to that persistent uh, criticism? made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Oh, that's the persistent criticism, is it? Well, I... Uh, and the trouble is, you see, that these things, again, as I was saying earlier, are so personal. It's, it's difficult to know quite how to, you know, to talk about these things in, in front of everybody. And obviously, I don't think many people would want to. But, I mean, all I can say is that the, the, there's been so much... Um, speculation, feeding on every other kind of speculation that you know, it all becomes bigger and bigger. I mean, all I can say is um, that, uh, I mean, there is no truth in... ...made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. Back then, it was only Diana. She was by herself. Okay? They even made her, one of her sons to discredit her. I mean, there is no truth in... In, in so much of this speculation. I mean, there is no truth in, in, in so much of this speculation. Made lurid and false claims about the royal family, which played on her fears and fueled paranoia. No, no it's all right. No, 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 it's all right. No, 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 no. All right, and so now we are into the vacation here. There's the laugh. While the trolls and media are making noise about Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, add the Sussexes have been enjoying a private family in Costa Rica, no leaks. Smooth moves. There's the laugh here. Let's click on that. I shared this on my community board. Okay, training address Costa Rica. Okay, it starts here. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle make secret visit to Costa Rica, December 20, 2023. According to local media reports by C.R. Hoy, Okay, British Royals Prince Harry and Meghan Markle secretly visited Costa Rica last week. All right, last week, but now we are seeing it. So whoever did this 
took the pictures or whatever they waited until after they left okay costa rica last week continuing the country's reputation as a top destination for celebrity getaway celebrity getaways and they are uh, advertising themselves there too all right saying top destination for celebrity getaways according to immigration authorities the duke and duchess of sussex entered costa rica on december 14th and departed earlier today december 20th after enjoying nearly a week visiting the beautiful beaches and rainforest so whoever wrote this uh took the pictures or was waiting until they left knowing the issues they've been going through so they waited until they left i read some of the comments on my community board you know uh they should give them privacy i understand the privacy but if you come across i'm pretty sure you know what let me stop there okay british royals prince harry and megan marco reportedly just wrapped up a secret tropical getaway in costa rica joining stars like shakira and kevin hart visiting its world famous beaches and rainforests so that's uh okay so there's more let me read these and and then i'll go into the retweet of that okay those poor kids what about the poor kids what about them? They have to enjoy themselves. What about the poor kids? That's theirs. Okay. Hey, troll. Your stupidity is no excuse. Harry and Megan are on seven days holiday with their precious babies. I mean, what about the poor kids? What's wrong with the poor kids? You, ha you have the mom and the dad enjoying a nice little getaway together. So what's there? Oh my god, the Sussex is all smart. There's the thumbs up. Another Sussex outing that sources didn't tell us about in advance. Ha, they know nothing. They stay five steps ahead of the trolls. The way I chuckle, there's the clap here. Secret visit, <laughs> the private citizen and can go where they like, when they like. Great staying undercover Sussexes. This is the cash of exclusive resort getaway discretion. They will lose business if they run their mouth to the tabloid. Okay, I love it for them. Financial freedom and being irrelevant. A great early Christmas present. Harry and Megan could work as spy. Okay, so it's really a Costa Rica turn. Okay, living the life they want for themselves. I love this for them. Okay, so let's go into the retweet. Where is it? Oh, right here okay so i read that already hope they had a great time living their best lives what the hell is this is that an ad yeah that's an ad okay i love it they deserve to enjoy themselves another secret leaks pr spent considering kevin kastner did not give her the mic what the f okay and try to hide in a toilet what the hell is this are you freaking oh my mm. okay just in time for the Epstein list, they all going together. What the hell are these things? They travel always without their children instead of spending time together. Okay, I'm just going to stop here. Let me go to the next one. Some really deranged comments here. Whew, my goodness. Oh, take time. Just Epstein, okay. Black, while I'm here, I'm sorry. Black, when it's true, happier. Another secret getaway. Costner, whatever okay next tweet these people are ridiculous still about the vacation omg harry and megan and lily and costa rica there's the loving eye okay so there's the picture and i believe archie is here there's a third leg in between look how relaxed they are look at lily she gives me the profile of uh, harry when harry was young that's daddy's little girl right there that's so i'm so happy for them Damn, she got big already. <laughs> wow, blonde hair. Okay, Archie also, if you look in the court, you can see his legs and body next to Megan. Yeah, I saw it too. Okay, oh yeah, I can see that now. Thank you. Someone in the UK is about to have a meltdown. And three, two, one. Haha, <laughs> yes, there's the thumbs up. Okay, that's a different language. Well, that should shut the kitty stalkers up finally. Okay, Megan enjoy spending Harry's money. What the fuck? They married. They all married. I'm not like that. I'm not more independent myself. But she wrote a book that make million as well. What the F is wrong with these people? Okay, are you stupid? <laughs> Megan has her own money. They both work. She doesn't... Oh my God. L let's take the time to black this one. 
Okay. Let me go to the next one. I can't believe these people. This is someone who married Harry with millions already and they spew. It is just the fact that they have to insert themselves on anything that's positive, positive, and then to insert their BS. Okay, that's the next tweet. Prince Harry and Meghan Marco are outside. All right, so that's that image. We've seen this. Let's look at this one. Okay, all those people around them, zip it until they left. Thank God. I hope they um, encounter more things like this. When they go enjoy themselves, you know, people around them just zip it. Okay, Lily is getting so big. Yep. Okay, may God bless and protect them. Wishing them a lovely holiday. She's such... Oh. Oh. She blacked her comment, so there's that. Okay, are they on the jollies now? Or is this some sort of time ago okay i think it was they left whatever the article said like yesterday on the 20th two days ago okay i have a feeling that prince harry was working on a project travelist and megan and the kids were there too could be oh look the kids that's a okay that's a different language different language just living and queen lily let's go to the next one yeah this makes sense i won't be surprised if it's that too next one Okay, Duchess Meghan's longtime besties, Heather Dovak, also visited Costa Rica with hubby and children together with the Sussexes. Here yeah, they are here. That's nice. We love Costa Rica. Okay, Harry took that picture. <laughs> Desme responded to it. Okay, who knows? Maybe Archie took it. <laughs> There's that. Oh, I wonder who else went. Abigail Spencer also has a little son. I hope she got time off work. Knowledge after the event, such a relief and great that the Sussexes and their friends can vacation and return with no leaks. Just goes to show where and how the leaks emanated from when they were working royals in the UK. Double F, okay, double family vacay, that's the heart. So let's go to the next tweet, okay. There's this again, still about the vacation. The Sussexes entered Costa Rica last Thursday and left this Wednesday. So I'm at least glad these were shared once they left. This is the thing that I made reference to. Okay, OMG, Harry and Megan and Lily and Costa Rica. So that's a retweet of that. I went in there already. Okay, especially since the kids were with them. There's the thumbs up. Yes, I think they understand their situation. It's quite his place for sure. Okay, I appreciate whoever took the pics and shared it after and I put it on uppercase okay shared or pap shot they look uh, so fuzzy for shared photos so this is it's probably someone who took it with their cell phone they happened to see them they were like oh there's Harry and Megan and took their well, and took the picture but knowing what we know now and so many people all over the world follow them and kept it and wait until uh, they left she met the paps okay all right so come on go back okay it went back up all right so let's do this first and very likely the last time they visit that country because why are the immigration officials giving out dates of when they enter and left anyway they can never avoid being spotted but they had a week of private time that's astounding in itself that's a very good point photoshop blurry photos as usual little bucks smaller in december that she was in july strange her red hair now almost blonde all the sussex is that someday you will get a photo with face what 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 the hell neither of the kids are recognizable photographs always blurry or from the back anyone else see a pattern okay i don't know all right so let's go to the next one because they know harry don't mess with them so they make sure they show the ones that show the back all right, next tweet. Okay, why did I? Okay, <laughs> I bookmarked this, bitch, please. Nothing she wears is worth looking at except when she copies Megan. I think I'm done following this. Oh, now I remember. I think I'm done following this particular blogger. The crap that is coming out trying to promote that family is nothing more than brain garbage on to better thread, I think. All right. The reason I bookmarked this, because there was a time I was very suspicious of celebrity. But many of the squad keep on saying, no, she's a squaddy, she's a squaddy. And now I came across this tweet that felt the same way as me. I'm like, 
50-50 on her being squatty and her not being. For some reason, I feel like it could be. I could be 1 million percent wrong. Like, because the squad don't click on the tabloids articles. So they create this page to somewhat mimic as if they are a squaddy to still read the articles, the BS. Okay? I used to read it, but I don't read it no more. I don't know why I feel that. So I'm not saying for you to agree with me. Please don't. But this is my thinking behind it. And then when I come across this one here, this tweet, it made me go back to the way I used to think about it. Okay, there's the word here, please. Nothing she wears is worth looking at except when she copies Megan. I think I'm done following this particular blogger. The crap that is coming out trying to promote that family is nothing more than brain garbage on the better thread, I think. Okay, always read Kaiju article. She's on our side. Okay, I'm boycotting anything to do with Kate for 2024, including Kaiser's articles. Uh, I know she's on our side, but I'm not promoting or encouraging anything about Kate. Okay, Tatler Princess Kate uh, became the queen of quiet luxury in 2023. All right, so that's, I don't know why I feel that. Again, I do not know. This is just my feeling going after that. Because I there was a time something happened. And I'm like, why is she still talking about this? And there's this person here. I sort of agree with her as well. Let me go to the next tweet. Okay? That was the only reason I uh, shared that. Okay, next tweet. So there's Baby Devengers. How dare Harry and Meghan take their kids on holiday in Costa Rica but won't give the, U the UK people a pic so we can see them and analyze their little faces? After all, they are six and seven in line to the throne. Thus, we have a right to see them. The disrespect is intolerable. His Majesty the King must remove all titles. <laughs> so, so pretty much she's giving a little uh, insight of what's going on for the day. Okay, the Costa Rica trip and the Devengers are mad about that. Okay, I know, right? This was the privacy they're talking about, having the right to share what they want and when they want. If they don't want their children thrust in front of cameras all the time from the paps and press, that's their right as parents. Exactly. Okay, I saw a Devenger post said they left the kids behind. Nope, there's that here. Okay, lol. So the meltdown has already started. There's a laugh that was quick, shaking my head. All right, me heading to Costa Rica and hoping to bump into them. <laughs> ben waiting for you. Thank you. Always make me laugh. There's a laugh. Baby gets it every time. Okay, I know they are melting down. The baby has awakened. Okay, after this, that's it. I didn't tell them so. Ooh, too, too, wow. How I love the crying baby synthesizing things while simultaneously yelling that the kids are irrelevant because they are so low in the line of succession. The future of the British royal family has been secure with the Wells children, so why be concerned with the prince and princess of Sussex? All right, let's go to the next tweet. Mm -mm -mm. Next tweet. So that's that here. <laughs> that's a GIF. Okay, go Megan. I love the way you got the rabid British media and the royalists in a chokehold. So gratifying to see you happy, thriving, and so unbothered. May you be blessed and continue to be fabulous. All right, so that's the GIF. <laughs> Can't choke. <laughs> she correct herself, right? Yeah. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. My goodness, she goes out, they start talking. This is why the commercial she did for Clever Blend, it was really good. Okay, so there's another news that came out as well yesterday regarding Uvalde. Meghan Marco is still keeping in touch with the Uvalde family. There's a smile. I've never posted this, but it clearly needs to be seen. This is just a small part of the video of my mom on the phone with Meghan Marco checking up on the family on Father's Day. Uh, imagine that. Well, when is Father's Day? Is it June? All right. So 24 seconds. <laughs> yes, yes, no, they were. How are they doing? They're doing okay. Today, actually, they were kind of asked to be um, kind of left alone. 
because it's Father's yeah. Day, so. Exactly, that's what I was thinking of them, yeah. Yes, yes, so we just, you know, I text them that if they need anything, you know, with their, with, with here for them and. <laughs> All right, so that's a small portion of the conversation. Okay, she is still in contact with the Hub Kitchen Smart Work. All uh, right, so let's see more reply. If it's not the derangement, the Duchess of Sussex is kind and humane, unlike KK Kate and Camilla. She isn't performative. When Princess Meghan cares, she never stops. We love and support Meghan Markle. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Next one. Okay, having to see Uvalde residents relive their heartbreaking experience today, having to see them defend Megan against the royal family fan is such a heartbreaking episode. This is so hurtful and painful. Oh, I didn't come across that. Were they? I can't even express how hurt I am. Oh, wow, I didn't see that. Okay, there's the crying. There's nothing too low for the Devengers. This is horrible. Okay, some of these nasty trolls about Uvalde sound like those Sandy Hook deniers who to this day harass and threaten the family who lost their children to a gun massacre. They sound like that blowhard guy who got sued for his lies and conspiracies. These people are bottom feeders. Yeah, I think he lost a lot of money. I know who he, she's talking about. Some people will never know peace for the hate and pain they cause. I can understand the hatred for someone who has done nothing to them. Even when the families correct their lies, they double down. They don't want her to exist, and that's really sad. All right, so this is the thing that they go good at. They like to interfere. They want to be the first one to spread the rumors, the negative thing, to make you, uh, like, start being afraid. It starts from racism. When you look, um, for instance, um, stories that you're hearing, when the, the U.S. goes, you know, to war to another country, let's say they go to the uh, Asian countries, okay? The military people, the white ones, they go around and spread negativity to the families, to the women over there, saying how bad black people are, only because they wanted themselves to sleep with those women. I mean, this is full-on evil. The mentality of racism is full-blown evil. Okay, um, let's read this. I totally agree. It's absolutely disgusting and vile. Nothing is sacred to these people. Unimaginable hatred for Megan, who hasn't done anything to them. May all those involved in this orchestrated vilification of Megan never ever know peace until they do right by Megan. All right, this is why I said baggage for God. There's a natural law of karma that vindictive people who go out of their way to hurt others will end up broke and alone. Okay, how has this story resurfaced again? It's just non-stop with these people. Okay, it's utterly shameful. Nothing is sacred to them because they're blinded by hate of a woman who is going about her business and thriving. Okay, they are evil. That's right. It's okay, so that's an ad. Let's move on. Next one. Again, that's regarding Uvalde. Okay, it's 6 o'clock now. The new video is out. Okay, William must have been caught cheating sloppily again because why are y'all bringing up all shit about a woman who literally moved across the globe to mind her business? Okay, so she retweeted that. I guess that will give me a hint of the nonsense that they're saying. Let's not forget when Meghan Marco took her cameras to a literally crime scene three days after the match. Okay, if you go on PYTE, when that happened, when Meghan went to visit, there was uh, another who was running for governor what's his name uh i can't believe texas then uh, vote for him but uh who was running for governor i forgot his name so when megan went inside wherever that was and then that same politician was walking in okay megan did not want to be in, in camera i don't think they know each other was gonna be there so when megan saw the camera she left she quickly left. So that politician was, I believe, was already scheduled to be there. So that's why most of those cameras are there. And plus, not only that, the the event that happened with, uh, you know, the school shooting and all of that. So, you know, that's why the cameras were there. I mean, they, they spend anything f out of nothing anyway. So these people are full-blown evil. All right. So let me finish with the BS here. 
so I see what's going on. Let's not forget when Meghan Markle took her cameras to a literally crime scene three days after the mass murder of children using Ovalde to raise her profile. Oh my God. And get press, but she is a humanitarian. You want to pay respect, be respectful and leave the cameras. I mean, the people have their own cameras. You can't tell them what to do. Oh my God, this post is untrue and it's insertion that Megan arrived with a camera crew and uh, that her visit was a photo app. The center director has been very clear on multiple occasions. This was not the case as reported in the article below. Uh, do you find this helpful? Okay, so I guess they corrected that. William is always cheating or probably left his wife. They literally can't do anything without mentioning this woman or her husband who left four years ago. Imagine following trolling someone for seven years. Okay, so there's that here. Uh, has to be mistress rhyme with Christmas. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so let me move on to the next tweet. Oh God, baggage for you. A lot of work, a lot of work. But these are your, uh, your work. All right, so I'm sort of done. I think I'm done with most of the, oh, I have one more. So we're all more into the lighter thing. Two, four, about five more tweets, more in a lighter note, okay? Megan, cool. I will just live my life then. Them, whoever, the trolls, the royal family, quote, how unroyal is Megan? Royal don't behave like this. Megan has shifted the goalposts when she wants it now and living according to her she wants. Stay mad. So look at that. Look at the video. There's the goal post, but look, just watch. 18 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. And he went after. <laughs> There's the laugh here. All right, so let's go to the next tweet. Okay, this one, I shared it before, is the Jeopardy thing, but this one come with a different caption. Let me pause. Okay, like I said, we love them until they hurt Diana, and when they threatened to do the same to Megan, an American, we were to fool with their cucumber and mayo sandwich eating selves. Oh my God. Okay, this is air about a week ago, but LOL. All right, 27 seconds. I shared it already, but for the sake of the new caption, I sh I'm sharing it again. As a student at Eaton, he did not have his own laptop computer, despite being second in line to the British throne. Gary. Who is Prince Harry? Sorry, no. Henry. Who is Prince Charles? Also incorrect. Julia's gonna guess. Who is the current King Charles? No, I'm sorry. Between Charles and Harry in the line of succession, Prince William did not have a laptop. Back to you, Gary. The, the, the woman deserved to lose. I can't believe she repeated almost the same thing as the one before her. All right, so let's read some of the comment. When the UK press published a poll saying Will was the one person likely to bring all Americans together and that he's the most popular royal in the US. So if they did say that, it's usually the opposite, okay? If they're saying this, there must be some campaign that they're doing to divide Americans. Okay? <laughs> That's the way I see their lies. Okay, holy shit. This is hilarious. Unfortunately, Bitter Island, you mess with an American princess. We don't like you anymore. We barely pay attention to you. But when eggs and ham, <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> eggs and ham are on top, <laughs> you won't see us much at all. <laughs> That remind me of, uh, there was some place uh, William and Kate went and then the lady was explaining to William how they put something together and then Kate out of nowhere and then said, oh, I like to do whatever it was, the opposite of what the lady said. And you should see William's eyes turning. <laughs> I think I have the clip. I'll put it if I find it. The act like 1776 never happened and we're in the Commonwealth. Okay, so that's an ad. So let's go to the next tweet. All right, so this is a video as well. So let's see here. Three more tweets after this. All right, it's only nine seconds. Okay, she's an icon, Princess Megan, Megan Marco. Is there any comment? 
please post a link of that episode i must watch it all right so it's only nine seconds so it doesn't say much let's see here not like my reports which are banger after banger after banger after certified banger i don't miss Okay, so some of the things in the back. Oh, she put that together, I guess, took his things out, whatever the video that he did, and then put those um, uh, articles in the back. All right, so I don't think it, the whole thing is uh, all over. Okay, the UK media, Kate Middleton's looks are fashion forward. All right, next tweet. I don't watch uh, his show, so I don't know. Okay. So this, last night, while I was in the middle of uh, just searching for tweets to put on the list, and then something happened, then Twitter, I don't know, I can't get in. I was like, and, but, I was, let me open another one. I was not seeing these, like post, reply, highlight, media, or whatever. <laughs> this is a cute little video too. So I can't find any of the people that I follow to share the tweet with you. Even the one that I was in, for some reason, I got out of it. So I thought I did something or they liked me out for whatever reason because of my videos. I don't know. All sort of things were popping up in my mind. So later when I got in, that was after I clear my cache of my computer and then um, I went back in. So I thought maybe that's what I did that made me get back into Twitter. So apparently, no. It seems like it went down. So other squaddies were tweeting about it. At, at least two tweets that I came across where the squaddies were talking about it. Okay, Twitter went down and I didn't know what to do with myself. I'm sick. All right, so this is a GIF. I shared that on my community board. <laughs> it came out as a screenshot, not as a video, obviously. So this is what she put. Okay, so there was nothing else after that. And there's another one who's making reference to Twitter bidding shutting down again. Let me pause. Okay, we're too addicted to social media. Like, why did I get upset that this app wasn't working? <laughs> oh, the squaddies. Is that a squaddy? I think that's a squaddy. Yep, a squaddy. So they got upset, and I thought there's something wrong with my uh, computer. Okay, I didn't notice until I read some posts. I unplug daily for about 6 to 12 hours. Can't get hooked on drugs in college, even though I had tried everything under the sun. Oh, my God. I didn't notice. <laughs> so, in other words, she, <laughs> she tried everything. She didn't get hooked, so she's not going to get hooked on social media. <laughs> oh, my God. That was an unexpected turn. But anyway, <laughs> can't get hooked on drugs in college, even though I had tried everything under the sun except for heroin. Was addicted to morphine while hospitalized, but that was forced addiction. <laughs> Good for you for unplugging. It's very hard for me to do. There's a laugh here. I'm glad you didn't get hooked to anything in college. I remember how hard everyone's uh, party. I, I didn't have time to party, so there was no reason for me to get hooked on anything. Okay, the app wasn't working. Bedtime in the UK. Only just woke up. Well, yeah, if it wasn't working. Okay, it just started working again. The whole timeline disappeared for a while. Yeah, that's what happened to me too. Yep. Wow. Okay, so let's see here. Guilty. We're entitled and spoiled brat because I got annoyed. <laughs> There's other people. <laughs> okay, so other squad too. I was stressed. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> I like when they talk about their meltdown afterward. <laughs> okay, but I thought it was something wrong with me because yesterday I posted something about um, YouTube. Okay, so I thought that made some sort of a connection. I don't know. I always have put in connection with things in my mind. Okay, so next week. The dad whose children and wife came in during his interview was hysterical, but this is 100 times better because look at her grace and ease and embracing her son's entrance while still championing democracy who won the world. Okay, and I saw when you watch this, because she's doing something live on TV, and I guess she's in her office, so she didn't like her door. 
So when the door open, you're going to see her eyes sort of look somewhere up here, which is her screen where she's looking in the background. And then she saw her son come in and she played very smooth. For all of Satya's new friends, he is his accidental MSNBC debut. Thanks to at, uh, Ali Valshi and Maya Willie for being so welcoming and all of you for celebrating all the ways we work and care for our kids. Okay, so who is that? Okay, I guess this is her. Mom, feminist, anti-racist. Okay, so that's her. I didn't know that. I like the way she played it. Cool. I just follow her. Okay, so let's listen. It's 47 seconds. And elected officials <laughs> making the point <laughs> that... Uh, There's the smile. Making the point... I'm going to play it again. You could see she saw the door open... And she repeat her words twice and then she like, uh, and then there's the smile. She noticed that uh, the kid is coming in. Okay, so I'm going to start all over again. Watch like, okay. And elected officials making the point that, uh, making the point that a simple majority should not be enough. And I'm being joined here by a special guest. I apologize. A simple majority should not be enough to win back fundamental rights. And that, that tells you everything. They're being caught out loud saying what they've always thought, which is subverting democracy is their goal. Who is our Sorry. special guest here? You want to say hi? It's the Sepia. Hi. <laughs> Hello. The best Sorry. part of the show. <laughs> didn't lock the door. No, do not apologize because this is what we're don't, talking don't about. Don't lock the door. This is it. This <laughs> is amazing. Uh, thank you both. I, I appreciate it. And thank you to our special guest uh, for your debut on MSNBC, Mini Timuraju. Uh, in the future, you're probably going to see him again. And then that will be the video of... Uh, I, I, I could see it already. When he gets older, if you have a parents like that who's doing all of this, you already know she's training her kid to be a voice of reason and, you know, whatever platform he may have. But I could see in the future, if he appears on TV, this video clip will be something to look back on and he'll be laughing. Okay? And I like the fact that she apologized, even though they say you don't need to apologize. She apologizes and then she said, why? the kid came in and I love the way she just transitioned from doing you know from one to the next and then continue her uh, thing okay I've watched this a gazillion times okay so weird I was thinking about the original video just this morning and how everyone assumed his wife was the housekeeper because she's Asian okay even though you saw two of his children come in first which were clearly a mix of them both. Okay, so th I know which vi this video they're making reference to. Remember that one interview when the man kids kept dancing in the background? <laughs> this one. I mean, I feel sorry for them, but if you have kids, if you human being, you will understand kids. Okay, as much you try to do certain things, but especially even adults, when you see reporters are out there reporting on things, you see people going in the background making faces and all of that. But kids will be kids, you know? Okay, there's my comment here. Two comments and then I'm going to move on. Okay, the smirk she gave when she realized the door was being opened and the special guest. Okay, so that's the other one here. Two comments. She ran the segment smooth. I love that for her rather than act up. Kids will be kids. People understand that. And most importantly, she apologized and stated the reason for the special guest. All right. So for people like it and we treat it. Okay. So I think I'm done. Right. Yep. I did pretty well. So, oh, prayer, 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 prayer. Let's do a prayer. Prayer. Prosperity came to mind. Prosperity and protection. Let's keep it that way. Okay, Almighty God, I pray that you forgive me of all sin that has caused lack of abundance in my life. If this is your will, protect me from the evil that will come with having an abundance of anything. Help steal me clear of thoughts of greed and selfishness. Thank you for hearing my prayers. Okay, so that's it. So now we should see the new video because it's 630 right now. No, 621. All right, so there's that here. Okay, so that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. All right, so this video is making reference to something that happened last week. All right, so if you're waiting for the current event and all of that, 
to make headlines. Actually, maybe sometimes when my videos come weeks later, it makes people reflecting back on the nonsense because the UK love to make noise and then they want people to forget about it. So maybe my video reviving some of this. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Thank you for your support and thank you for watching. And please donate mostly to my PayPal or Cash App, not on YouTube. I don't remember what the number was when I started this video, but it does not reflect anything on my estimate. I, I know I'm asking for donation. I can be that picky, but if I'm not seeing the numbers, you rather not give anything at all because I'm not seeing it. The videos are not doing the thing, the numbers itself. So you adding some numbers and it's not reflecting, what's the point of even giving me? So don't donate through YouTube. Donate through PayPal or Cash App or join me on Patreon. Okay? So that's it. And I appreciate it, but I'm not seeing the numbers. Until things change, maybe, but for now, I will say not on YouTube. Okay? Thank you for watching.